Hello guys, PS4 video take 4, Uh, this phone keeps messing up, but hopefully it's in decent quality so none of you guys are worrying about it. <laughs> Alright, so first game, This, as you can see in the title, this is pretty much my PS4 collection. Uh, I'll just go over briefly why I like the PS4, it really reminds me of the PS1, it seems like Sony's really going out their way to make sure this system has the, going back to the glory days of the PS1, so that's really good. So first game is an uh, Amazon exclusive uh, physical copy at least, and that's Cremoria, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, basically this is a, a shoot 'em up game, which is a 3D shoot 'em up game, so it's, that's pretty cool. Uh, nothing else I can really say about it because I haven't played it that much. Deception 4, I have all the Deception games, uh, uh, I haven't really played this one yet, but I got it on the cheap. Nitro Plus Blasters. Um, 2D fighting game. Uh, most fighting games are pretty much universal. They're all the same. Uh, they did a really good job with the sprites. And, well, I don't even know if this, these are sprites. These are like, uh, I don't know. They don't seem like sprites. But anyway, really good job on this game. Mega Man Legacy Collection. I got this because uh, I wanted to uh, support Capcom in a way that hopefully they'll make a Le Mega Man Legacy Collection 2. And hopefully they'll release Mega Man 9 on that collection. On that collection with a uh, freaking... Uh, couple other games I'm thinking about. Um, yeah, I just lost my train of thought. But anyways, the main reason I got that is because I wanted 9 and 10 to be re released on the second volume if they do one. Gianna Sisters, Twisted Dreams, uh, 2D platformer, really good. It's another Amazon exclusive for 20 bucks. Pick that up. Uh, Infamous Second Son, this is the third Infamous game. Uh, Really cool. I mean, I, I don't like it as, far, as much as the first two games. Cause I like the hero in the first two games better. Cole McGrath is awesome. This guy's okay. But like I said, he's no Cole McGrath. And my buddy Cliff has sent me the prequel to this game, Infamous First Light, physical copy. Only released in Power Country, so that's pretty cool. Resident Evil Origins. Uh, happy to have this. So finally, the, the, the GameCube Resident Evil games on a PlayStation system. Resident Evil 6, 20 buck game, uh, pretty much all the DLC for Resident Evil 6 and, uh, in 1080p, it's pretty awesome. I really like Resident Evil 6, despite that people complained about it not being scary. Resident Evil 2, Resi Resident Evil Revelations 2, another good game. <clears throat> My first PS4 game, Until Dawn. Uh, Until Dawn is, uh, I mean, it starts off corny, I mean, the way they introduce the characters, is like, they zoom in on them, zoom in on them, and it's like, man, what the hell? Like, why are they even doing it? It's just, it's just really corny, but I learned to like the game a lot, so pretty cool. I don't really, I don't know if I'll replay it too much. I might replay it a couple more times, but that's it. Uh, I waited a year for this game. Uh, the complete edition of Mortal Kombat X, Mortal Kombat XL. This has all the DLC and all the characters released on the disc. No DLC, so I don't have to worry about patches and updates. I'm good to go. Brothers, another puzzle game. It's about these kids trying to save their father. Uh, you control both brothers with the, both analog sticks, so it's pretty unique. Uh, Shovel Knight, uh, enough said. Uh, retro platforming at its best. Uh, another, this was a $25 game, pretty cool. It's probably like 20 bucks now though, but you guys should pick it up. I think they're gonna do a Shovel Knight too. I just got this game in the mail today. Uh, this is Beyond Two Souls and Heavy Rain, re well, not remastered, but uh, complete editions in 1080p for the PS4. So I'll be looking forward to popping this in after the video. Uh, let's see what I got here. Knight of Azure. Uh, this is like a Dynasty Warriors type game. Uh, really good. Uh, only thing disappointing about it, I thought it was going to have English voice acting, but I'm not sweating. It's okay. Uh, what else we got here? Guilty Gear x -er. uh, got this because it was so cheap on Amazon. Uh, I already had the PS3 version of uh, just, a, just a game, but I decided to get this, uh, you know, because uh, it was cheap and it was cool, so pick that up. Life is Strange, limited edition. Uh, now, don't believe all the hype like this is the best game ever. Yeah, it's really cool. It's a breath of fresh air, and the way the storytelling was great, but... This is no game of the year. I mean, come on, people. It's, it's barely even a game, kind of. <laughs> anyways, I like it. I actually like it better than Walking Dead first uh, season. So that's a, that should say a lot about it. 
uh, tells us Zeri is that how you pronounce this game? Zuzuchia. Uh Not my favorite Tales game, but like I said, I'm a Tales fan. I still haven't beat this one yet. I think I came close. I just feel sometimes I've, I felt the game was a little bit uninspired. I know they were trying to go back to like old school games, but I don't. I don't know. It's just weird. And my favorite game of all that I'm playing right now, Republic. Now Republic, you can tell this game is. This is from people who were fans of the Resident Evil games back in the day. Like the first three Resident Evil, four get Resident Evil games. Um, now you basically you control the camera. Your right analog stick controls the camera. Your left analog stick controls the girl. And you're trying to help her escape from this facility. So it's cool because that's like the different camera angles like Resident Evil. When you go into a room, it switches angles. So it gives you that unique uh, presence and everything.